welcome to Jagged Tooth Tackle. I normally don't do stuff like this, but we're gonna go through the shop today. And I saw something on Instagram the other day I thought was interesting. The state record North Dakota walleye was caught this spring after last year, the record being broken after like 40, 50 years. I'm not gonna go into history, maybe I'll throw it on the screen. Anyway, the original record walleye in North Dakota was found floating and it was grandfathered in as a record because there's no rules then. Since then, North Dakota's got rules, you can't follow hook anything. Well, lo and behold, this year, a year later from last year's record, it was crushed, 16 pounds, nine ounces. Anyway, there was a dispute. There was a video put up, taken down abruptly. The video, which I did see, shows the walleye was hooked in the back. Well, anybody knows when you net something, the hook can come out and go back in. Uh, supposedly, it was fair caught. Now, a month later, North Dakota Game of Fish rejected it, saying it was follow caught. Anyway, where this goes is, as anglers, a lot of us like to embellish, make it a little bit better than it was. What a lot of us, you guys, are indirectly doing is you're wrecking your legacy. Say this guy did, I, I really don't know. I'm just going to take the word of the Andy Game and Fish. Foul hooked. If he caught this fish with foul hooked, snagged it, and it wasn't a true record, you are basically screwing every other walleye angler in the state shooting for that record. And the last guy's hard work, null and void, if you're into records. It also uh, questions your integrity. So can you live the rest of your life, 40, 50 years, knowing you lied on a state record, keep it on the down low, just make yourself look good? Kind of goes in the kind of person you are. It, it just kind of goes back. I caught a crappie on a full-size hot dog tip-up fishing one winter, and people say, oh, nice staged catch. I get that. It happens a lot in the fishing world when people are trying to sell tackle, and a lot of companies, if that's what you need to do to sell your stuff, your stuff doesn't work, that's fine. What I like to do is experience fishing and show you what I use. What you buy is completely up to you. As you can see, all this tackle behind me as I'm walking through the aisles. That's a, it's your choice if you want to buy it or not. I'm more about creating a brand and legacy on what actually I use. I'll recommend things. I'm not going to tell you you need to buy this because this is where my money's at. This is where I make the most profit. If I don't use it, I'll tell you I don't use it. I don't believe in it. If I do use it, it's okay. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll be truthful with you. I normally don't rant. I, like I said, I'm pacing. I'm waiting for a teleconference. I'm waiting for my phone to ring any second, so I'm probably drawn out. It just popped in my head, though, that the state record was potentially duped and uh, he's probably a nice guy i feel bad for the guy but if it was foul, foul hooked you don't deserve it if it's true caught you still know you got the record uh, you don't need the state telling you you got the record regardless big fish congratulations i guess anyway i'll end the rant i got a small mouth dro video dropping shortly possibly going on a vacation and fishing out there if i get a chance see a nice cabin there's a brook in the back with trout tell me below in the in the comments what you guys think of this uh state record controversy too I'm curious to find out on that, I'll end the video. Thanks for watching. All that jazz.